Hi everyone, I'm Matt Hetherington and this table tennis video is going to focus on some very basic parts of table tennis. There are a lot of people right now who are not able to find things to do with their time and some of you might have a table tennis table in your house and you may have recently started trying to pick up the sport or at least learn some basic skills. So I thought now would be a great time for me to make a video that focuses on some some simple basics of table tennis, um, things like the grip, the starting and neutral stance, and uh, just the basic forehand and backhand stroke. So I'm going to go over those four areas in this video with the help of my iPong training robot that I just got yesterday. So we're going to start off by just going over the grip. I always find with grips, there are two, shake hand and pen hold, well the two main ones. The easiest thing to start with is by making an L. So if you start with an L shape, you can start both grips. So with shake hand, you just pinch between that L here with your thumb on one side and your finger on the other, and then use your other fingers to support by gripping around the handle. Okay, so your fingers should be down, not too high up. So down along this part of the rubber here, and then your thumb should be a little bit curled over here and these fingers here support that grip. Okay, so you should be able to have some range of motion between backhand and forehand and some firmness between the thumb and the finger. Okay, with the pen hold grip, you start with that L shape again. This time you're going to grab the racket between and then pinch around the top. So your thumb and your fingers should meet somewhere around the middle, depending on how comfortable it is for you. And then with your fingers on the back, most players prefer to scrunch them into a kind of a ball and that allows you to play pen hold. Um, you can move around a little bit with these grips depending on what you're comfortable with, but as a general guideline, these are the best ways to hold the racket. Next, you need to know the neutral stance. So I'm going to show you that from the side angle. So you're going to start off standing square onto the table. You're going to bring the foot with your playing hand back a tiny bit. Okay, so the playing hand foot comes back. You're going to bring your body weight down onto your knees, up through the top of your quads and your knees. You're going to try and keep your back straight as much as you can with your chest forward, okay? Don't hunch over too much. Okay, so body weight comes down onto your knees, chest forward a little bit. And then we're going to bring our racket up here, forward and this opposite hand also forward. This is good for balance and it's good for aiming the ball as well or guiding your strokes, especially on the backhand. And it also helps keep the shoulder locked forward. So particularly with the backhand, if the shoulder is moving around too much, if your hand's down, it makes it very hard to aim where you want to. If you bring this hand up, it helps lock the shoulder forward a little bit without being tight. And that helps you focus more on being able to aim and being precise with your backhands in particular. It's also important once we have the grip and the stance to know where we should stand on the table. Usually the best place for players to stand is on their backhand side. So you're going to stand basically in the middle of this half of the table. That way you have a range of motion that covers your backhand, one step to this ball and wider. Then you'll play forehand in the middle one step to the forehand here, and then one shuffle step here. If you stand in the middle, it's very hard to cover this part of the table because your backhand has to be played in front of the body. Okay, and also if players are playing to the middle, you get into the habit of playing backhand here. So if you stand here, you can cover in front of the body on the backhand, and you play forehand here, which is usually stronger. If you start in the middle, which a lot of beginner players do, you find it very hard to cover this ball because you can't have that range of motion outside of your shoulder. Okay, so starting position, grip, bracket forward, hand up, this foot slightly back a little, body weight onto the knees and chest forward, and then balance. Your center of gravity should be in the middle and we're staying in the middle of this backhand side. Let's move on to the basic topspin strokes. So usually when you learn table tennis, you're going to start with a basic forehand and then followed by a basic backhand. So with the forehand, we're going to start in this position. 
We can be a little bit closer to the forehand side if we're just practicing forehand in the beginning. So you can be closer to the middle. And you're gonna start here. As the ball is coming towards you, you're gonna rotate and bring your racket a little to the side here. So most of it's rotation based, rotating to this point here, keeping our arm loose and at about 90 degrees. And then we're gonna turn and then come forward through the elbow and the forearm until our racket gets around about the level of our forehead. Okay, so starting here, body low in our neutral stance, turning to prepare for the ball and bringing our racket to the side with the angle quite open. Okay, so we bring our wrist back a little and then playing forward this way. Okay, so turning and using elbow. It's a lot of elbow and waist together and we're going into the ball here and then forward. Now, one little useful hint for you guys or one useful tip is that you should contact the ball slightly outside of your playing knee, which for me is my left knee, and then a little in front. Okay, so we're always lining up a little bit diagonal from our hip, so outside and in front. Okay. All right, so with the help of my iPong robot from Yola, I'm gonna demonstrate some basic forehand strokes and recap on those, uh, those key points that you need to remember for playing forehand. Okay, so, bring the racket to the side, and then finishing the forehand. Okay, so racket to the side from neutral position, and then to the forehead. We're using waist, and a little bit from the elbow. Okay, so back here, you can see the waist rotation, keeping this hand forward. Okay, here to here. Okay, to the side, and then forward, we're lining it up outside the knee, and a little bit in front. Basic forehand technique pointers that you need to remember. And it's basically a combination of ball rotation and elbow and forearm. Okay, so side and forward. Starting at the side, finishing around the forehead. All right, let's look a little bit more at the backhand now. Okay, so we've gone over the grip, the stance, the forehand. Now you need to know the backhand. So with the backhand, Again, we have center of gravity forward, chest forward. Now we're starting in this neutral position. We're going to bring our racket across. Okay, so across from our elbow here and then up a little bit. And you'll, you'll notice that it starts to get a little more vertical as we bring it up. Okay, so we're not keeping it this way too much. We're allowing it to come up at an angle. Okay, so across and then up here. And we're starting kind of just below our eye level and keeping our racket up so that when the ball bounces, we can start here. That's very important for your timing and for lining up the ball. So that way we have to keep low, racket up, making sure that our elbow doesn't come up with it. Okay, we don't wanna play backhand up here. Keep your shoulder and your elbow relaxed so that your elbow stays down. Just bring your racket head up in your hand. And then we're gonna start here. We're gonna bring our racket back a little bit. The ball's lining up in front and we're gonna play forward and up, okay? So we're going kind of at a diagonal, again, forward and up to about the eye level, okay? So starting a little bit behind and below the ball and then finishing about eye level and then relaxing afterwards, coming back down, okay? So now I'm gonna demonstrate some backhands, okay? And it's important that we keep the stroke inside the shoulders, okay? So not out here and out here inside the shoulders, in between, in front of the body. Okay, so we're lining the ball up between the shoulders and in front. Okay, so you can see I'm staying low, lining the ball up next to my hand, between my shoulders. I start a little bit, a tiny bit below and behind the ball, I'm playing into the ball and forward. Okay, keeping everything in front of me and finishing Level. Okay. Making sure things stay very basic and linear. Okay, we want to make sure things go in a straight line and that we control just to the forearm from the 
elbow. Okay, we can add more rest in later, but for the basic shot, we just want to focus on using the elbow, getting the timing right, and lining the ball up in the right position. Now that we've covered those areas, there's just one more element left for you to learn the necessary basics of table tennis, and that is learning how to serve. And we're not going to get too complicated with it right now, because a lot of the people that this video focuses on are beginners, so we're just going to look into some simple things to start off with. And the first one is that when you serve in table tennis, the ball has to bounce on your side first, and then on the other side. Okay, so no bounce hitting like this. It has to be your side first, then the other side. And then once you've got the hang of that, in order to keep with the rules, you need a flat hand behind this white line, and you're going to toss the ball up at least the height of the net, and then the same thing. Okay, so you can experiment with this very basic top spin serve. You can close the angle to create more spin over the top of the ball. You can tighten up a little bit to make the ball go faster. Okay, but that is the first basic serve that you need to learn when you're playing table tennis. So for those of you who are just starting out with the sport that have been watching this video, try and focus on those areas when you're beginning, the grip, the neutral stance, forehand and backhand topspin, and a basic serve. And that is a good starting point for you to begin learning the basic parts of table tennis. So I hope you guys have fun with this. And I hope that some of you are new to the game and you're going to enjoy it because it's a great sport. And hopefully you'll keep tuned in with my YouTube channel and I'll be back with more tips for how you can progress from these beginning basics into more intermediate developing or advanced skills um, as time goes on. Thank you very much for joining me and make sure you subscribe. And if you have any questions, please hit the comments in the YouTube video or on my social platforms. Thank you guys.